good morning my dear friends in the audience and beloved guests on the dais i stand here as a fossilized scientist and octogenarian my position here is to view things scientifically i saw a baby of 12 girls dancing for perfection the rigid calcium phosphate body structure was gracefully moving the anatomy and against newtonian mechanics they kept a heavy burden on their head a brass mess metal which remained steady all through without being affected by the law of gravity it did not fall that is a great lesson in nuclear physics <laughs> then we went and lit the lamp the lamp has oil which is stearic acid and oleic acid then it has cotton which is c6o5 h10 <laughs> and this cotton absorbed chemisorbed adsorbed oil then potassium chlorate lit a fire and the cellulose burned producing carbon dioxide and moisture producing <laughs> global warming that is the background the scientific view i had as i went through this there was pattern generation the graceful human movement what the human body is capable of and one more thing i noted the baby of 12 girls were smiling that smiling needed 14 muscles of your face to be coordinated none of them frowned they did not operate the law action of seven muscles of the, on their forehead that is the anatomy and physiology of the beginning of our program now we have come here to speak about the word the nine letter word g gratitude now gratitude please go and look up in the dictionary you will find there are two words gratitude and gratification most of us are happy with the gratification we need food we have it maslow's theory says we feel hungry we eat food we feel thirsty we drink water we are gratified but in a world of gratification how do we keep that emotion of gratitude that's a brain function if you have that sense of gratitude which is a primary emotion which cannot be defined in terms of a secondary emotion this is what we call a subatomic particle then we will find that gratitude consists of two things a giver and a, a donor and a donee without that it doesn't happen and as you appreciate gratitude your blood pressure will go down from 130 to 90 it will become 125 85 and your sugar level from 155 will come down to 140 and if you appreciate the gratitude in further and if you are a cardiac patient your inflammation biomarkers will come down by 7% this is what scientists have to say as far as gratitude is concerned but gratitude is a property which has to be deliberately and consciously created and consciously maintained that is where the problem comes very few of us a nano minority of us alone have the capacity to preserve nurture and maintain and keep it in a sustained manner throughout your life oxytocin and neurotransmitters will flow to your brain when you are in a state of grateful gratitude so i urge all of you to remain in a state of perpetual gratitude so that your lifespan is extended you lead a blissful happy life all the best to all of you